Our city and nation received a hor horrific reminder that we remain targets for terrorists. And immediately upon news of the explosions in Boston, we fully mobilized the New York City Police Department's vast counterterrorism operations because we thought there was a possibility that they could be a related attack here. We now know that that possibility was, in fact, all too real. Last night, we were informed by the FBI that the surviving attacker revealed that New York City was next on their list of targets. He told the FBI, apparently, that he and his brother had intended to drive to New York and designate additional explosives in Times Square. They had built these additional explosives, and we know they had the capacity to carry out the attacks. If, God forbid, they had arrived in New York City and gone to Times Square, one thing for sure, they would have seen an enormous police presence. But they would not have seen extensive networks of cameras that are part of our security initiative and which can help police identify suspicious moment, uh, movements, such as packages left unintended on the streets. The investments that we've made in counterterrorism operations, technology, and intelligence help reduce the possibility of a successful terrorist strike, but they certainly do not eliminate it. Nothing can do that. We don't know if we would have been able to stop the terrorists had they arrived here from Boston. We're just thankful that we didn't have to find out that answer. And as a result of the extraordinary work of the Watertown, Massachusetts Police Department, the Boston Police Department, and the FBI, the Department of Homeland Security, and other law enforcement agencies, the terrorists were stopped before they could carry out further attacks, though not before, sadly, murdering an MIT police officer, Sean Collier, and wounding others.